Hey guys, Mr. Bouchard here, and this is page three of the reference table. Um, what we're going to be working with today is how to read latitude and longitude on this map. Um, which again, you got to use the small scale latitude and longitude. Alright, so you're between degree markings here when you deal with the different landmarks on this map. Um, so the way you can really think of this, and I did this actually um, to help you guys. Um, I made a PDF of this which I will post. Uh, basically, this is the way the latitude longitude markings look in New York State. And if you look, um, connecting them up, they're not exactly 100% straight because remember the longitude lines curve. Um, they get closer together as you get towards the pole, further apart as, as you get towards the uh, equator. So you see it slightly on this map. Uh, also, you're going to see the minute markings, which we talked about. Um, they are marked on this map, but they're not super clear. Um, you have to kind of look for them. Um, but you'll see the 30 minute marks between each degree. Um, I'm going to do it on the other map just to show you all right, how to read it. Uh, but you could use that as guidance to kind of help you guys out as you're learning this. All right, so the first point I want to do is slide mountain. So if you look for Slide Mountain on there, it's just by Kingston, New York. It's pretty close. Um, so you'll see it right here on the map. Okay, the triangle is the point where that is located exactly. Okay, and so if you look, even from my other map, okay, you draw a line across. Here's the 42 line. So it looks like it's pretty much on 42 degrees north. It's pretty close. So you could take that as the latitude. The longitude, on the other hand, it's not exactly between, uh, it's not exactly on a degree marking. Okay, so when you look at this picture, you clearly see that. Um, when you don't have the lines, it's not easy to see. All right, but you notice it's between the 74 degree marking and the 75 degree marking. So what you have to do is you have to estimate, once again, using your um, minute markings, okay? The minute, 30 minute marking is about right here, all right? Looking down the map, okay? Here it is in New Jersey. So it's not quite 30 minutes, okay? But it is closer to 74, so it's gotta be less than 30 uh, minutes by a little bit. So I would estimate Slide Mountain from that to be 74 degrees and about 25 minutes. And then remember, we're west of the prime meridian, so it's gonna be west. So in New York State in general, all the latitude and longitude markings, they're gonna, the latitude are gonna be degrees north, longitude are gonna be degrees west uh, longitude. Okay, so remember that when you're writing your uh, coordinates. All right, so that's one example. All right, I will give you another one. Um, if you're taking a look at the map, um, some of these other ones you really have to estimate pretty well. So let's do, um, let's do Messina, New York, which is way up here. Okay, Messina, New York, once again, is really in between uh, markings. Okay, and if you look closely at Messina, the latitude, it's between the 44 degree and 45 degree. But once again, you always go to the lower one it's between, so 44 degrees. And it's almost to the next degree, but not quite, okay? It's just shy of it, all right? So you can estimate it to be maybe about 58 minutes north. Okay, and then longitude on the other hand, if you look at the map, it's between 74 and 75, just like Slide Mountain was, except it's closer to 75. But we always take the lower one that is between, so 74 degrees and maybe 55 minutes west. Okay, it, there is gonna be a little bit of a wiggle room for your answer for this. So it doesn't have to be exactly precise. Um, obviously, if we Googled it and got the exact answer, but it would have seconds in it too, but we're just looking for minutes, estimating that. 
and that's pretty much how you do it. Um, so there's going to be some examples on our lab that we do, um, and you guys will have to ha uh, make sure you're uh, using this map well. All right, so hopefully uh, this makes sense to you. If not, again, feel free to email me. But uh, keep working at it and uh, keep practicing at it, and it, it should come. All right, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you next time.